Hello everybody and welcome to this webinar. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And I'd like to welcome you to our fabrication partner series where today we will focus on Petting House and our link that we have between Tecla Structures and their software called Raptor. I have Eric Newberry with me who will be representing Petting House today. So I'll go ahead and turn the time over to you, Eric. Thank you, Lee. Hello, this is Eric Newberry from Petting House Corporation. I'm a software specialist for Raptor Software. I want to talk a little bit today about the integration between Raptor and Tecla Structure Software. First, I want to do a little introduction of what our company is, Petting House. We're located about 50 miles south of Chicago in Bradley, Illinois. Since 1903, Petting House Corporation has proudly served the steel construction, plate fabrication, and metalworking industries with the most innovative equipment on the market. Under its fourth generation of family management, Petting House is dedicated to engineering expertise focused on machine productivity, efficiency, and innovation. And also, I want to make sure that we thank Lee and Tecla for giving us the opportunity to present here at the Partner Spotlight. Like I said, uh, Petting House's software is called Raptor software. It's a 3D CAD CAM software and it runs our machines. Once you get the parts uh, that you want to run into Raptor, which I'll go over how to do that, at least the easiest way how to do that later, you can generate CNC in Raptor, which will our machines will then run, read it, and fabricate the parts to your specifications. Raptor software enables fabricators to program and operate petting house CNC machinery such as drill lines, angle lines, coping lines, and automatic layout marking machines. Raptor connects these machines to initial structural designs by providing full compatibility with Tecla structures. Parts can be modified, inspected, or created within Raptor before being exported to machinery or other computer workstations. A lot of the setups that we see using Raptor and petting house machines is we'll have uh, a customer will have Raptor in the office on an office PC and they'll also have Raptor on the actual machine control out in the shop so they can create parts in Raptor they can modify parts in Raptor um, and then export them out to the machine where they can run CNC and actually fabricate the beams using the code uh, created in Raptor CNC code of course, the best way to import parts into Raptor is the Open API with Tecla Structures software. What an Open API does is eliminate the use of files. So there's no navigating a file menu to try to figure out where your parts are, and there's no risk of losing accuracy because of the direct import that Raptor and Tecla share. A direct Tecla API import module is available for optimized file conversions for fabricators who desire a more precise data-rich import. Users of Tecla structures have the option of importing the geometry directly into Raptor. The following slides will give an overview of just how easy it is to import Tecla models into Raptor software and run them on your petting house machines. Sometimes I feel silly explaining how easy it is to use Raptor and Tecla together because it really is that easy um, as you'll see coming up. I think with as uh, technological as it is people expect um, a little more a little more to do and less a less seamless process. So uh, here's the first slide in uh, explaining how to um, use Tecla and Raptor together. Uh, just make sure that on a PC you open Raptor software as well as Tecla structures with the model there. And you can see on the right, we've got a model up. We've got Raptor on the right hand side. And then, like I said earlier, there's no going through file menus to try to find your part. You literally click the parts you want to bring into Raptor in Tecla. So as you can see there, I've got two beams, a column, maybe another beam selected there. You can do a full model if you want to by selecting the entire model. For the purposes of this demo, I've just selected a few parts. Now in Raptor, there's an option on the toolbar up there that says Import from Tecla. When you click that, the form appears. Um, it's a, the intuitive Tecla API import module is condensed into a single dialog box in Raptor. There aren't many configurations or settings that you have to set. Basically, as it is with DSTV files and files like that, you kind of need to guide things to make sure that they come in correctly. With Tecla and Raptor's open API, um, all the information is transferred in the background, which leaves, 
leaves for a very seamless process for the user. As you can see here, the programmer only needs to select Go and the parts will come in from Tecla accurately. As long as you have those selected and press Go, Raptor is going to pull those parts in um, as accurately as you see them in Tecla. Um, here, the example I've provided here on the right, we've got a beam in Tecla, we've got a beam in Raptor. The whole locations have been brought in uh, using the Open API. Those plates and whatnot that are connected to that beam can be brought in as scribes. Um, that's one of the options that you'd have, but for the purposes of this, um, we've got our beams, they're they're one-to-one. -one. So by utilizing Raptor and Tecla's open API, the use for individual files will be eliminated, which ensures accurate and timely importing into Raptor. More accurate parts in, in software makes for more accurate parts in your shop. Yeah, basically the idea behind this is that the less steps you have to do, the less configuration you have to do, and the less worrying you have to do about your parts coming in accurately digitally, We'll make sure that they come in accurately physically and you don't have to worry about everything because you know that with with using the open api you're not losing data that's about it as i said the way that these two software interface is quite simple to use and i want to thank lee and tremble for inviting us to this spotlight again and thank you for watching I'd love it if you'd come visit us at the Penning House booth. I will be there. Again, this is Eric Newberry. I'm a Raptor specialist, and we can talk about um, anything regarding this. Um, hope to see you there. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Eric, for sharing this presentation. If any of you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, and we appreciate your time today.